what are rnn training rnns determine the parameter the gradients of the errors with respect to our parameters um, just like we sum up the errors we also sum up the gradients at each time step for one training um, example the parameter w the gradient uh, is do e do do e by do w uh, summation the uh, t do e t divided by do w the gradient at each time we use time 3 as an example do e 3 um, divided by do w equal to do e 3 do e y cap 3 uh, do y3 cap uh, do uh, divided by do s3 uh, into do s3 divided by do w this is the chain rule s3 equal to tan v3 of u x1 w s2 s3 depends on w s3 depends on w and the s1 s1 yes, we cannot simply treat sw is a constant do e 3 divided by do w k equal to 0 to uh, 3 do e 3 divided by do y 3 cap do y 3 cap divided by do s 3 do s 3 divided by do s k do sk divided by 2w apply chain rule again on sk training rnns determine the parameters do e3 do e3 divided by do w uh, summation of k equal to 0 to 3 do e3 divided by do e3 cap do e3 cap divided by do s3 do s3 divided by do sk do sk uh, divided by do w because the w is used in every step up to the output we care about we need to back propagate gradients from t equal to 3 through the network all the way t equal to 0 so up to yes yes not s1 s2 s3 s4 here do s1 divided by do s0 do s2 divided by do s1 do s3 <coughs> do s3 divided by do s2 do e3 divided by do s3 okay so out x not x1 x2 x3 x4 what are rnn <coughs> the vanishing gradient problem to understand why let us take a closer look at the gradient we calculated above do e3 divided by do w equal to summation of k equal to 0 to 3 do e3 divided by do y 3 cap do e 3 cap do s 3 into do s 3 divided by do s k do s k divided by do w equal tends to do e 3 divided by do w equal tends to uh, here k or summation of k equal to 0 to 3 do e 3 divided by do y3 cap into do y3 cap do s3 uh, pi j equal to k plus 1 to 3 to sj to sj minus 1 to sk do w because the layers and the time steps of deep neural networks related to each other through multiplication derivation there sorry derivatives are susceptible to vanishing 
gradient contribution from the far away far away states become zero and the state at those at those steps doesn't contribute to what you are learning you end up not learning long range dependencies how to solve the vanishing gradient problem proper proper initialization of the w matrix can reduce the effect of vanishing gradients use rele instead of tan h or sigmoid activation function rele derivative is a constant of either 0 or 1 so it is not likely to suffer from vanishing gradients use long term memory or gated recurrent unit architectures lstm will be induced later rnn extensions by directional recurrent neural networks traditional rnn only <coughs> only model the dependence of the current state on uh, the previous state BR MNS Custer and Polyvan 1997 extended to model dependency on both past states and future states. For example, predicting missing word in a sequence, you want to look at the both left and the right context. Output this is the output backward layer forward layer inputs unfolded br br training sequence forwards and backwards to separate recurrent hidden layer h t equal to f of w x h g x tends to x t plus w h g h g h t minus 1 bar plus p h bar h t f equal to f of w x x t plus w h h bar H T bar minus one plus B H bar U U Y U Y T W H H bar Y H bar T plus W H bar Y H bar T plus B Y for based on the future context determines the output. RNN extensions long short term memory. The vanishing gradient problem prevents standard RNN from learning long term dependencies. LSTM uh, in 1997 were designed to compact vanishing gradient through gating mechanism input no memory forget added tangent output exposure a gate mechanism of the lstm which generates the current hidden State by the paste hidden state and the current input. It contains five modules input gate, new memory cell, forget gate, final memory generation, and the output gate.
R and N extension long short term memory LSTM a getting mechanism of the LSTM new memory cell new memory cell new memory compute new memory H of T minus 1 X of T H, H of T minus 1 applied to E of C X of T connected to W of C both are connected to 10 H C total C of T C of T bar sorry C T bar equal to 10 H W C X T plus the U C H T minus 1 new memory this one new memory new memory use the input board and the post hidden state to generate a new memory which includes aspects of the uh, input here yeah, yeah, yeah. getting mechanism of the LSTM forget get shoot C of C power T minus 1 uh, for forgotten H T minus 1 UJ connected or U of F connected sigma X of T applied to WF connected to sigma this uh, whole function F of T F T F T equal to sigma of W F X X T plus U F H T minus 1 the forget get looks at the input word and the past hidden state and make an assessment on whether the past memory cell is useful for the computation of the current memory cell rnn extensions like lsdm memory a gating mechanism of the lsdm final mass final memory cell yes c of t c t c t bar Connect to uh, IT. Uh, the, uh, one inverter. Uh, you can say uh, up up. CT minus one also connected. Here FT, here IT. Both are connected to summation CT output. So CT equal to FT. Is FT, CT, CT minus one, IT, CT dash, yes, CT. This stage first it takes the advice of the forget head. FT and accordingly forgets the past memory CT minus one. Similarly, it takes the advice of the input gate IT and accordingly gets the new memory if if then it then sum these two results to produce the final memory RNN extensions long short term memory a gating mechanism of the LSTM output gate Output exposure. How much the C of T should be exposed? Uh, sigma connect to uh, uh, OT. Uh, this one connected from U naught W naught H T minus one connect to apply to E of one E of zero E of uh, O uh, X X of T connect to W O. So O T equal to sigma of W. Um, Oh. W O X T plus U O H T minus one. This gate matches the assessment regarding what parts of the memory C T needs to be exposed uh, present in the hidden state H T. R N extension long term.